Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips with a brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Today going to go out and see what things came out today, see if things are on sale. Today though, new release wise, the main big thing coming out is uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Hopefully I'm not mixing that up with the move, the first movie's title. I think that's the sequel title. I'm, I'm pretty sure, but I may have messed that up. But I know that one's releasing today and I know there's a number of different retail exclusive versions. I saw there's going to be something at Target for it. I believe there's a Steelbook. I don't know, you know, Best Buy exclusive Steelbook. I don't know if there's anything though at Walmart for that one though also though for the first time on 4k a night of the comet is releasing that's what i probably will get i think it's going to be available it looks like they have it in stock at best buy we'll see fingers crossed if when i get there it's still there also though guys if you and i talked about this some last tuesday uh the film that i co-directed with lauren francesca uh woods witch is now available for pre-order on blu-ray so i'll put a link below where you guys can uh you know go on the srs cinema website to pre-order the blu-ray and on the website too you guys can see the trailers for the film and everything like that as well and basically uh, the way it works is it's going to be limited to 200 copies on blu-ray but if it ends up selling over the 200 copies then it ends up getting expanded to a thousand copy release so i'm fingers crossed of that definitely uh the goal is to by the end of this month uh go over 200 copies so then it goes into the um you know the press discs and everything like that so that's the big fingers crossed so everyone definitely like i said check out the link below and you guys can find out you know go uh, where to order the um the blu-ray of uh, wood switch uh and also though the end of this video is gonna be a whole bunch of brand new dvd blu-ray and 4K reviews for the things I've seen to review and talk about for you guys. But anyway, though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. And I'll do the shot I do now, guys, of, you know, heading in and just showing, you know, what's in the front now. Because, like I said, there's no movies to show in the front anymore. So last while it's just been me showing the books. And <laughs> we just show kind of how the books have been updated. You know, this section, though, I can show some of this stuff though. The $5 spot and $3 spot, some of this stuff. Look at these. And there's some interesting things in here like these weird like talk box, like sound box things and like wireless speakers and stuff like that in here. Weird little tray tables. But let's go peek over here to see the books. Just at least see how they've changed today and anything different here. I do wonder if someday they ever put movies back in the fronts again. I, I doubt that will ever, ever be something we'll see again but let's see anything different i think that might be different that king holy one i think that might be a different oh no Steve, oh, stephen king one called what's that called the holy i guess holy let's there that one there from him but we'll head over to the actual section though and see oh, and look the the altar is now open like you know we've seen the updates of this they've taken down all the stuff and now it's complete so i guess there is something new to see the uh Oh, the altar. So this is what was behind all of that plastic and stuff like that. And you can also peek right here and then kind of have like an idea if you're going to have good luck or bad luck down here. So you can kind of peek here. And I think I'm seeing, I think I see Spider-Man. We'll see that. And in here today, though, luckily enough, they have everything out. So they have the um, the Blu-ray here. They are, their exclusive edition here, which has the collectible fan cards on here. So these different cards in here and then the uh, 4K. But also over here, though, I did see, which is kind of cool that they have available as the from the hood on blurry this came out a while ago but pretty cool to see that available in here into walmart we go all right so we're gonna head back i've not peaked so we'll see if they put the stuff out the other location though uh, has not been putting out the smaller indie like movies lately so we'll see hopefully they get this stuff out I'm, I'm seeing some stuff i'm seeing a couple of different things let's see one thing's kind of interesting down there too let's see so i see a uh, spider-man across the spider-verse this is the 4k one 29.96 i don't see any exclusives and then the standard blu-ray is 20 uh, 29.96 the dvd is uh 19.96 for that one what is this one what's the difference between this dvd for 1996 and then this DVD for 2796. I don't know if it's some kind of a I don't think they would be doing an exclusive for it. That's very strange. I don't know what that one is. And then um P Picard that released today the final season for 3499, sorry 3496 on Blu-ray, uh 2996 on a uh, DVD. But then down here I saw this one. So I was interested in seeing this movie. This um and I don't I've got to look up and see if there's a Blu-ray of this. I feel like there would be this um Jamie Foxx movie with me um, I, I always say her name Amika Moreau um, this one called God is a Bullet which looks really interesting 
which I'm probably I'm gonna get this one if there isn't a Blu-ray available, but I feel like they would do this one on Blu-ray, but might be one I have to get online. We'll see though, I'm gonna look that one up. And then also a Harley Quinn, the complete third season released today on DVD. Let's check over here, anything different here. Seems to be all the same things. And then let's check in this one other spot. This is where they put like the sort of smaller releases. And then in here, I see one different thing, Master Gardener. I don't know what that is. Joel Egerton, Sigourney Reaver movie, that movie. Other than that though, that seems to be all the new things that I see here different today though. Into Best Buy we go. And I'm going here earlier because I want to make sure they don't sell out of that uh, Night of the Comet 4K. And also, too, that uh, God is a Bullet one that I saw the DVD of at Walmart. There is a Blu-ray available. I don't know if they're going to have it available in here or not. When I looked online, I didn't see anything for it. So we'll see, though. Fingers crossed. If not, though, I'll just order that, you know, on Amazon for the Blu-ray of that one. Yeah, so in here, though, I do see Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, and they actually do have the Steelbook available. They kind of changed their Be uh, Best Buy exclusive sticker on this one. It's like a little bit bigger than normal. normal let's see if I can see. Yeah, let's see. This one's like the normal size, so it's just a tiny bit larger on this one. But what is this? This is definitely the wrong spot, $122. That's a Fast and Furious one. Uh, but it's uh, $36.99 for the 4K. And then they have a two-pack of like a double of the movie on Blu-ray for $32.99 and then $32.99 for the 4K standard and $27.99 for the 4K, I mean the standard Blu-ray of the film. And then other than that, though, I saw that he was sort of stocking some things over here still. So let's see. I saw the Expendables ones. These were the ones today, too, uh, that were the Best Buy exclusive. These are the normal kind of stickers that they have on them. They're $21.99 for those ones. Other than that, though, let's see if that Night of the Comet, is that in there? Let's see. Yeah, so luckily enough, he was stocking, and then he found it in the one box. So I got the Night of the Comet 4K in there. It looked like there was only one in that box, from what I could tell. So yeah, luckily enough, I went in there at the right time when the guy was stocking. Otherwise, I would have not would have missed it, I think. It's, it's, like I said, it seems like one of those ones that they're getting like one or two copies in tops for this one. But to me, this is like to me, probably one of my most watch movies. I can't tell you how many times throughout the years I have watched this movie again and again and again. I absolutely love this movie. So I actually really look forward to watching it again on 4K because it's one of those movies that's been a number of years since I watched this recently. So I'm definitely going to be watching this again. I, I don't know. I, I've watched this, like I said, so many times. Uh, but glad they had that one in here. It didn't look like, though, they had that guy as a bullet. I don't think they're going to carry that one, you know, at Best Buy. So probably going to order that one on Amazon. But now going to head to another, uh, you know, Walmart. And we'll see if they have out anything different. Into the second Walmart we go. Well, I can tell right away everything has been raptured yet again. Yeah, this location, it's so weird lately, has been like so crappy at like putting things out. Like you can see like the st stickers are all up here too. For like, these are the ones they were supposed to, I guess, switch out. And they never even did. Like here's the Spider-Man. I guess those for the, for the Flash one, they never bothered doing. But you see the spots for everything. Let's see though, anything else down here? This, see, this is the area where there'd be some different stuff, but even in this area, I haven't seen anything new here in a while. It's, I don't know why this location has been like really, really pias poor at like updating things and changing things out lately in here. But yeah, as far as I can tell, absolutely nothing in this one though. So anyway, though, guys, that was all for my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Let me know in the comments below, though, what you guys ended up picking up, if you guys ended up picking up anything today on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K. Also, let me know any movies that you've seen uh, recently. Uh, this past weekend, well, on Wednesday, I went to see that movie. Uh, the I, For some reason, I kept on wanting to call the movie The Slothening, but it was a movie called The Slother House. And it was a movie about the killer sloth. It was one of those movies that was... um out for a one night only thing on like last Wednesday, which I really wanted to see it because Kelly uh, Ryder, you know, who was in my film uh, Woods Witch and Scream Bloody Murder or Cheer Bloody Murder, she was in the movie as well. So really look forward to seeing that one. That was a really fun movie about a killer sloth. <laughs> really fun movie. Uh, the other film I saw uh, was Bottoms, which gave a top recommendation to that movie absolute must watch you guys have got to see that movie i will say too i am like keep my fingers crossed that when like desert fiends and pay to die come out that elizabeth banks sees those movies because you know her humor and like because you know she produced 
Bottoms and she also produced and was behind, you know, Cocaine Bear. And she definitely has a real out there, crazy sense of humor. So I'm like, yep, she'll, I think she'll like the kind of stuff that I'm doing because it's very, very that style, especially in the bottoms and everything like that too. So really, really, you know, hoping that she will see it. But Bottoms was great. It was basically about these two girls in school who put together this kind of fight club. And they really, their only intention of making this fight club was so they would try and meet girls that they could go out with. And that was really the only reason for the whole thing. But then it kind of takes off and it kind of gets a little bit out of hand at the school. And the thing about the movie too was that it had like a that kind of dark comedy feel like to the film Heathers where it was like really like you know that that vibe and like kind of Heathers mixed with Jawbreaker like that vibe was excellent like I said absolute must watch uh, the other film that I saw was the Equalizer 3 which was really fun as well uh, really intense though like they really ramped up like the uh, violence and the craziness of the kills in this one for sure I definitely liked it better though than the second one for some reason Equalizer two I didn't like that one as much. I thought it was okay. The first one, though, was really good. This one, though, I thought was just as good as the first one. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for my brain, you know, the review portion of this video, or the, we're talking about the stuff I saw in theaters, but now stay tuned for the brand new DVD blur and 4K reviews in the same car in the same spot, but earlier today. And the first one I got here is from Sony. This is the brand new 4K Ultra HD edition here, uh, the 4K Ultra HD Steelbook edition here, which includes the 4K, the Blu-ray, and the digital copy of the film Matilda. Now, this is, how many years old is this film now? Like, is it the anniversary of this? film is from 96 so it's almost at the crazy to think it's getting so close to being 30 years old now which is just crazy like this is one of those movies i remember so well seeing this film when this first came out and how much i love this movie like i can remember too even like the movie theater that i saw this in and it was a theater that like i remember i think like two years afterwards they tore it down i remember i also saw, saw beavis and butthead <laughs> to america in this theater it was one of my secret favorite theaters i saw um in in the cupboard that theater it was like one of these i think even jingle all the way was at that theater so it was like literally all these great things around that like 1996 1997 <laughs> kind of era you know uh i remember you know seeing things at that theater but this is one of those movies i have watched throughout the years so many times you know danny devito also directed the film as also as well as stars in the film as matilda father and it's basically though about this girl who's in this school and basically it's mrs trenchbog is the kind of head of the school she's this horrible like mean woman and basically matilda kind of has these abilities and these powers and stuff like that it's kind of her navigating through school and with all these problems and her terrible parents and stuff like that it's just a really really fun movie it's one of those films if you guys have never seen this movie do yourself a favor and check this out uh the other movie too i always think of when i think of this is simple wish uh as well this one has on here though on the 4k it has a commentary track on here with the director the actual trailer afternoon tea which is a great reunion i remember when i've seen that from years back on the uh, blu-ray when they first had that feature but it's a great reunion of everyone kind of coming together the kids and stuff like that uh with um danny devito on this one but like i said great movie a uh, really great steelbook here uh, of the film here as well like i said one of those movies i've watched throughout the years so many times the next one here this is from uh, sony uh you know as well this is spider-man across the spider-verse uh the 4k ultra hd edition includes the 4k the blurry and the digital copy this is one though i don't want to say too much about it because it kind of like connects a lot to, to the last film so it's one of those things where like if you didn't see the last movie it can kind of ruin certain things about kind of what's going on but essentially it's kind of like you know uh sort of like stuck in a time warp other dimension type thing per se kind of all you can say but i really like these films i really like the animation style of these as well they're done kind of like the the comics but then like a modernized it's hard to explain but i really like the style that they have with these now it has on here though uh feature wise it has um blu-ray exclusives over 90 minutes of exclusive what's kind of funny is it says blu-ray exclusive but almost since it's the 4k i feel like it should say 4k exclusives on it you know it's kind of, kind of a weird thing but it says on here, um, uh, over 90 minutes of special features on here. So it has like Easter eggs, deleted scenes on here as well. But like I said, really great film. If you guys have not seen this one, definitely worth checking out. And the next ones I got here are from Lionsgate. And these are the brand new uh, Best Buy exclusive uh, 4K steelbooks of the Expendables films here. And I believe these are the first times uh, that they've been available on four... I 
think this is the first time they've been released on 4K. I know for sure, though, these are the first times I remember seeing steelbooks, uh, you know, of them. There may have been back in the day, you know, like when these movies were releasing originally on Blu-ray, there may have been steelbooks for these ones. I don't initially remember for sure, though. But like I said, one let you guys know that these ones were all available. Here's the um, Expendables Part 2. The new film is coming out, I think, in about a week or so. And the Expendables Part 3, and this is the unrated edition on here as well, which I'm glad, too, because I know with these films, with the, the third, with this film, uh, when it went to theaters, they kind of cut it down and made it PG-13. So I was really glad with the new movie that they went back to the R-rated kind of, you know, route with it and, and didn't kind of tone it down and stuff like that. The next one here is from Paramount. It's one I want to let you guys know that was available. And this is the um, complete first season of the show, which stars Natasha Lyonne, uh, Poker Face here. Like I said, one of you guys know that this one uh, was available here, uh, you know, from, uh, from um, you know, from uh, Paramount. The next one here, this is one, this is a great film. This is from Ken, uh, Kino Larber. And I've watched this movie a number of times throughout the years. It is an intense movie. And it's one of those movies, too, that I feel like really definitely had a lot of inspiration for the film 8mm. I, I definitely feel like it did. It really, like, when you think about 8mm, too, it has a very similar feel. Even the way it's shot, it has that similar, very gritty vibe to it that this one had as well. And this is the uh, film that uh, Paul Schrader directed, uh, you know, uh, called uh, Hardcore, which stars... Um, you know, uh, George C. Scott, which is an incredible film, which you guys have never seen this movie. This is an absolute must watch. And basically it's George C. Scott's this very plays this very religious man whose daughter ends up going missing. And, you know, he believes she kind of was taken into the adult film world. And it's kind of him trying to find her and figure out where she is. And it's like, it, it's just some really dark things that he discovers and stuff. It is, it is a great movie. Uh, one of those ones, if you guys have never seen this movie, an absolute must watch. Has a commentary track on here with Paul Schrader. Has a commentary track on on here with film historians as well as a theatrical trailer on this one the next one here this is from mvd's rewind collection and they, they've been starting to release 4ks they, they i think this might be this actually this is the second the first one that they released was uh, swamp thing and this is their second 4k release of the film uh, ghoulies which is one of those ones i've watched so many times i will say though i i don't watch ghoulies one as much as i watch ghoulies two ever since i've even been a kid as a kid i've always watched the second one more because i like the car setting to it in the fair and everything so that's the one that I've watched more this one I still really like this movie because it's all set in a mansion it's kind of like a group of these people doing like a ritual and then they, that's how the ghoulies are kind of brought out and stuff like that this weird like satanic ritual and everything I, I like the concept of the first one a lot but like I said the second movie was always more fun to me so I'm definitely keep my fingers crossed that we get uh, a 4k down the line too of the second movie and I'm hoping too because I don't think we've ever even had the third movie on Blu-ray, I don't believe. But this one has on here on 4K, it has a 2023 4K restoration of the film on here. It has archival commentary track on here with the director, uh, you know, with, with director Lucio Barcarvi on here. Yeah, with the director of the film. It has a archival commentary on here. Uh, and then it has on the Blu-ray uh, some editing and empire interview on here with Ted Nicoli. Nicoli. Uh, some interviews on here with actor Scott Thompson, photo gallery, the making of ghoulies on here, uh, theatrical trailer, TV spot on this one here as well. The next ones here, these ones are all from um, Vinegar Syndrome to let you guys know that we're available. This one here is a um, Amazon GL 1 and 2, a double feature set here. And this is a two disc uh, Blu-ray set and has on here... Um, uh, presented in the original Portuguese language soundtracks with newly translated English subtitles and English dub tracks on here. And then it has a commentary track on here with film historians, uh, uh, brand new interviews on here, uh, on this one. The other one here, this is a fun, like crazy, I was, I was re watching too, like I think they made it for like, ten thousand dollars or something they made it like a couple days this movie called psycho girls it's basically about this one sister who was put in when she was younger into the nut house and basically the sister does, doesn't want to let her come out even though she could be released she's kind of doing everything she can to make sure she stays there and basically she breaks out and like Go, basically comes after her and her friends and it's just this crazy crazy movie it's very very quickly you can tell it's one of those movies they shot really fast but it's actually a pretty fun movie it has on here though some let's see what's feature wise it has a brand new commentary track on here with the screenwriter and co-director on here and the editor on here it also has an interview on here with the author and film historian paul capopi on here as well on this one the other one here this is another fun movie uh this is the 4k release of night screams and this is basically like all kind of set at this party and people kind of like broke out and they were kind of coming after and taking like these sort of not i think it was like i'm mixing up the other two i think it might be mixing the other movie up but like it's what i can remember was like these nuts that kind of broke out of like i think the nut house or the prison or something like that and they kind of 
went and broke into a mansion. I think that was what this was. I'm mixing up a lot of these movies. When you watch too many things, you mix up a lot of these movies together. This one has on here the original 85-minute uh, theatrical cut on here of the film. And then on the Blu-ray, it has, um, uh, let's see, Blood and Chopsticks, the uh, making of on here. Uh, on the film, like an 80-minute making of on the film here. And it also has a 80-minute pre-release cut of the film here as well. And this is another one available for the first time on 4K. A really fun movie uh, called, and this is actually a trauma release this movie back in the day too. And it's the movie um, a Killer Condom. This is one of those ones too. I always remember like, um, they always were promoting this too on those like trauma intelligent tests. Back in the day, they had all those like um, trivia things on the trauma DVDs and stuff like that. I'm sure you guys remember what I'm talking about. But they always had like clips of Killer Condom. I think that was one of the ones that was always on there. But this one has on here the 4K version contains the um, 118 minute director's cut of the film. It also has the um, let's see some of the making of um, uh, show. Uh, talk, uh, let's see Martin Waltz talking about the film. Uh, brand new interviews on here with the special effects artists on here. Uh, interviews on here with some of the actors. Archival featurette, the actual trailer, original video trailer. Lots and lots of features on here on this release. The um, the other one here. This is from uh, the film detective. Uh, yeah, the film detective. This is a uh, the the uh, giant Gila monster special edition, and this includes on here also the film the killer uh, screws is available as well. And this is a special edition. So this one has the giant uh, Gila monster and the theatrical uh, you know uh, format as well as the original 35 millimeter trailer for the film, a comedy track on the film, archival interviews, and then this too has uh, killer screws. And then it has um, a unsung matter, a uh, documentary on the film. It has a collection of radio spots on the film, as well as a comedy track on the film as well. And the last one here, late guys, that was available. This is from 88 Films. This is a movie here called uh, The Postman uh, Fights Back. And like I said, just wanted to let you guys know that this one was available. This has the limited edition a slipcase on here. It has the expert cut featuring English uh, 5.1 DTS and English mono, mono track on here, archival commentary track on here. Uh, two archival interviews on here uh, as well. But like I said, anyway, uh, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. And like I would say, if you guys enjoyed these videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.